Affordable and sustainable housing is something that I'm really passionate about. So today I've come to visit Sovereign, one of the UK's leading housing associations, to find out how they're using renewable heating technology to benefit their residents and reduce our impact on the environment. Here to meet me is Carol, Sovereign's Property Services Director. Carol, lovely to meet you. You too, George. Tell me about Sovereign and what they do. So Sovereign is a social housing provider. We provide great, wonderful homes for our residents to live in. We've got 60,000 properties across southern England and we want them to be safe, secure and affordable to run. And just how important is renewable heating to Sovereign? Well, we've developed a homes and place strategy um, and that's about investing in our existing homes and building on new homes. And it's about the energy efficiency. So by 2050, we're looking to have all of our homes that meet that standard and be carbon neutral. That's quite a big challenge, isn't it? It is, but it is a commitment from us. So that's a commitment that you've made as a company to change your existing housing stock and build new built housing to a certain standard. Absolutely, to make them more energy efficient and keep those bills down. And what's the benefit to residents of doing that? Well, we get them out of fuel poverty, cut their bills, and it's about comfort too, you know, making the houses warmer and more sustainable. So just tell me about the housing stock that you're having to look after. What's your oldest houses that you've got? Uh, so some of our properties are over 50 years old. And what that means is when you're looking at the fabric of the building, you're looking at extra insulation or replacement windows. But also when you're looking at heating, we've got a, a number of our properties that have the old inefficient fossil fuel um, solutions. Yeah, so everything from electric storage heaters, oil, and gas boilers, yeah, and oil, oil, gas, yes, storage heaters. All that kind of oil guzzling, gas guzzling yes. stuff. And is that where EcoDan can make a really big contribution? It can. So we have a number of rural properties. A third of our stock is rural properties. EcoDan is a perfect product for the off gas locations, replacing oil and storage heaters. Um, in 2019, we replaced 200 systems fell off last year but this year we're hoping to do 300 plus and more to come in the coming years yeah when you've got that 2050 target we have so it's big numbers it's big big, big, big numbers, numbers. But you've got to start somewhere and yeah, you're we doing have. that aren't you? and we've made that commitment that's fantastic yeah. and have you got some houses where you've installed eco dan well we've actually got six nearby would you like to have a look i would love to have a look at them thank you very much carol has arranged for me to meet with the project heating contractor and with one of the residents First off, I'm meeting Kim from Faulkner's, Sovereign's local heating contractor. So Kim, we stand alongside the EcoDan unit. How does it work? Well, it harnesses the heat in the atmosphere. Uh, it draws through this fan and it converts that heat into hot water. And with the existing property, did it run on gas before? No, we're in an off gas area and uh, the, the only choices are oil, uh, solid fuel or electric storage heating. So what are the benefits to housing associations and properties like this? Running costs are the main thing uh, for the for the homeowner uh, or the resident. Um, for every one kilowatt of electricity used, it creates three kilowatts of heat energy. So that's 300% efficient. That's pretty incredible, isn't it? It is. It's, uh, it's a difficult one to explain to people, but it's true. And how difficult was the install? on a house like this? Uh, the installation in this particular property took three days from start to finish, uh, and that included removing the old storage heating and installing the air source heat pump, the cylinder and the radiators. How do you bring residents along with you with this new technology? Well, in this particular instance, Sovereign were very good. They brought all the residents together in the local village hall. Um, Sovereign and ourselves did a presentation to them. And so they were fully aware of what was going to happen when the uh, installations actually took place. And I suppose that puts everyone's mind at rest. Yes, and, and once you explain to them how it actually works and what they're going to get, they're more than happy. And what about maintenance? Uh, well, Mitsubishi have their mail cloud system and through that you can monitor the units and uh, maintenance, you can view uh, any issues that come up and invariably that can save a visit. And you can test things remotely? Yes. Yes. Which is brilliant. Sovereign can look at this unit and, and check that it's doing what it should do. So this is a great example of getting rid of electric storage heaters which are expensive to run, really inefficient, and you install a new green technology. Absolutely. It's a win-win it's a situation. Fantastic. Anne and her husband Alan have lived here for over 16 years. 
as part of the residence panel and champion the switch to EcoDan. So Anne, tell me about your existing heating system before you had EcoDan. What was it? Well, we had night storage heaters, George. We had two on all through the winter and autumn. That was one in the hallway and one in the kitchen, plus the uh, electrical fire. And, and why didn't you have them on in other rooms? Why well, we did couldn't you afford it. We were paying over £1,500 a year and, and getting very, very little heat. And the house was, was cold. So you made a conscious decision to not put on the other electric storage heaters to keep costs down because you couldn't afford it? That's right. Did you feel quite apprehensive about the new technology? Did you know about it at all? I did, actually. Uh, when Sovereign approached us, I, I did look up on the internet about EcoDan uh, as much as I could. And they did give us a very good presentation uh, on the technology. So the time of installation, I, I was fairly confident the, of the technology uh, and I had great confidence. And how was the EcoDan installation? <laughs> Amazing. Um, a very professional installation crew. Within a few minutes, I was saying bye-bye to those wretched storage heaters. The copper pipes moved in. There was a lot of comings and goings and measurings and banging and <laughs> sawing and things like that. That's builders, that's fine, uh, yeah. that's installers. Um, but I have to say, at the end of the working day, everything was cleared away. So there was no impediments for me. And you will be amazed when I say, within three and a half working days, we were commissioned. That's amazing. That is amazing. And how did it change your levels of comfort in the house when EcoDam was fitted? The ambient temperature is about 21 to 22 degrees. Uh, we have no mould. We have no coughs, colds or draughts. That's got to be a healthy proposition. And how much money are you saving on your electric bills now? approximately £700 a year. So you've gone from £1,500 a year with the electrical storage heaters. Yes. Down to £700 savings. Yes. That's nearly a 50% saving on your electric bill. It is. How important is that to you? I know it sounds obvious that you're saving money, but how important is that to you day to day, knowing that you're, you're saving that amount of cash? It does mean that I can spend the money um, on other items such as household expenses and not having to worry come autumn and winter about having to make a decision on whether we pay for extra fuel or food. It got that bad. That's quite a bad situation to be in as to whether you heat your home or feed yourself. Yes, but that's the rea that was the reality. That and the, all that is gone now. How important was it for you to be using cleaner, greener energy? Oh, that's very important to me. Why? Uh, well, because I, I am concerned about climate change. Uh, I am I'm concerned that fossil fuels are not the thing for the future. So EcoDan produces less emissions. That's, that's good. It's good for the climate. It's good for the home. It's good for us and I'm saving money. What's there not to like? <laughs> it sounds too good to be true, to be honest, Anne. It is what it is. If there was anything different, I would tell you. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> and how much are you saving on your carbon emissions? Do you know? Do you have any idea? I, I do, actually. Only because Sovereign have been monitoring this system for over a year and I'm reliably informed it's reduced by 50%. And that is unbelievable. So your emissions have reduced by 50% or more and your energy bills have reduced by nearly 50%. That's true. And you've got a more comfortable home. And a happier home. And a happier home and a healthier home. And a healthier home. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me in your home today. Thank you, George, and you're most welcome. It's been a joy to meet you. Thank you and joy to meet you. Over the last 10 years, we've seen average household incomes remain the same, but the cost of living and particularly fossil fuel prices have increased. More and more people are falling into fuel poverty, 
unable to heat their homes. The potential outcomes for the most vulnerable could be catastrophic. Housing associations provide homes for around 6 million people in Britain, so it's vital more is done across the entire social housing sector to improve efficiency and help us meet our net zero carbon targets. With investment in renewable heating technologies like EcoDan by Mitsubishi Electric, Sovereign have been able to make a real difference to these residents' lives. To find out more about the benefits of renewable heating for social housing, visit their website at ecodan.co.uk.